Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful sidebar. So I have it running in the simulator here and uh, if you click off the sidebar then it's gonna close and if you click on this icon then it's gonna show up and you can click on the items and it will take you to this is Eric profile screen and I have set, up, set it up for only one menu items but you can add screens for all the items so let's see how we can create this uh, I'm going to create a pro new project I'll call it my site for uh, click next and create We are not gonna be using storyboard so we can just delete that and also uh, you have to uh, delete this main interface here now go to app delegate and uh, we we have to add code here to present this view controller when the app is launched let's change the simulator to iphone 6 and uh, this is the app that i uh, already have created i'm gonna be copying and pasting code from here but I'm gonna explain everything so this is the code that we need to copy and paste there to present the view controller so we get the window and uh, we embed our the view controller in the navigation bar and then we just present it that's it for app delegate now Let's go to the view controller and delete some of the code that we are not gonna need. And let's see what we have in view controller here. So we have uh, let's create the sidebar first. So let's go to our project and create a new file. It's gonna be a view, so we don't need a UI view controller. Let's call it sidebar. okay now actually we could call it sidebar view let's change the name to sidebar view okay so uh, we need to conform to these two delegates so we are gonna be using a ta table view controller let's copy all this code here let's let, let's get these two variables this is gonna be the array that's gonna fill up the items in the table view and this is delegate that we are gonna use to when the when a menu item is clicked it's gonna notify this view controller that a menu item has been selected now let's copy this initializer okay so we set the background color here this color is sort of uh, gray color dark gray color and uh, we set two clips to bounce to true and uh, we initialize we set our title array to this array of strings and then we call this function setup views so let's get the setup views function here And also, let's get the this required initializer and the table view. So uh, here we declare my table view variable in a closer, and uh, this just creates a UI table view and returns it. Then we configure that my table view here. We set the delegate and data source to self, and then we register it with UI table view self and then we set the table footer view to an empty view so that uh, it shows nothing in the footer view and the separator style we don't any, want any separator so it's set to none and uh, we want to allow the selection so it's set to true we don't want any bounce so it's set to false and we don't want to see scroll, vertical scroll indicators 
and we also don't want to have any background so it's set to clear this so that this background will show now in the setup views we add the sub view my add the sub view my table view to the view and then we set the my table view top anchor to the sidebars top anchor so it starts right from the top and then we set the left anchor to the left anchor of the view my table view right anchor to the right anchor bottom anchor to the bottom anchor so it uh, fully covers the view let's get this table view delegate functions also okay so here we return how many rows we want so the title or account is going to be how much rows we want and for the cell uh, we want two different types of cells uh, one for the where there is profile picture and uh, title and the rest there is only title so we are gonna need some images here like the cat image here and the menu icon so let's put the assets here I have got a cat image and a menu icon so let me put it just there and uh, so let's see so we clear the background color so that it shows the background color of the view we don't want any selection styles so that and if the index path that pro is zero then we don't then we want the background color to be this color which is sort of a gray, light gray and uh, then we create a cell image uh, for showing the uh, user profile picture so cell image we set its width height and uh, xy position we set it corner radius to 40 which is half the height which means it's gonna be completely circular it must to bounce uh, content mode is gonna be scale aspect fill and we set the image to the image and then we add it to uh, the cell and then we also want a label there so uh, we create a label we set the x position to 110 which is uh, because this is gonna take a width of 80 and it's gonna start from 15 so we, we have to make sure it doesn't overlap with the cell lab, uh, lab image so we set x to 110 we set the y to be exactly in the middle of the cell so vertically this will be vertically middle because the height of the uh, cell level is 30 and uh, we get the half the height of the cell here and we subtract 15 so it's gonna be exactly in the middle and its width is gonna be 250 and then we just add it to the cell as sub view and then we set it text to title array index for the row so it's gonna pick up the this one uh, zeroth item here and it's gonna set its text and text color is gonna be right here uh, otherwise if it's the index part dot row is not zero then we then we use the native text level of the cell and we set the text level to title or index part dot row and we set the text color to white okay so if the if any item in this table is selected then this function is called did select row at so in that case we want to call this delegate function delegate dot sidebar did select row uh, we haven't created the delegate yet so let's create the delegate so it's a protocol sidebar view delegate and it has only one uh, non-optional function I mean it's uh, necessary to implement whoever wants to conform to this delegate so it's sidebar did select row and we pass the row here so let's get this row object here so we have an enumerator here enum row and uh, what this does is that uh, it uh, it replaces this in integer numbers with uh, uh, strings so, so that they are more readable by us like when we call the row with zero then it returns dot this dot edit profile 
if we call it with one this it returns messages if we call it it two it returns contact so that we know its edit profile uh, item uh, its messages item its contact item and we pass this row here so that uh, whatever there the integer number is we get uh, more readable format and uh, default we have put a dot none here so that if uh, if nothing is recognized it's gonna be none it, this does nothing and then uh, we declare the delegate here sidebar view delegate this delegate and it's declared weak because if it's not declared weak it can cause memory leaks and now uh, for the height of the rows uh, for the zeroth index we want to uh, make it 100 so we turn 100 here otherwise if it's not zeroth row we want to make it 60 so we turn 60 here so I think every thing is done in the sidebar so let's head back to view controller and uh, let's declare these two variables there so this is the sidebar sidebar view here and uh, this is a black screen so that uh, when the sidebar appears we have a black screen covering the whole screen so that uh, it appears that the sidebar is on the top of everything now let's copy everything from this view date load function so we set the title of the navigation bar to home and uh, we also set up a menu button where we can click and the uh, uh, sidebar will open and then we have this sidebar we set its frame to 0 0 width is gonna be initially 0 so that we don't see it and uh, high, its height is gonna be the view height we set its delegate to self and uh, its g position to 100 and uh, then we add it to the navigation controller the sidebar view is added to the navigation controller because uh, if we add it to the view the navigation bar is gonna be on top of it so we we want to make sure that we add it to the navigation controller as sub view and then we add the black screen which is gonna be the which is gonna be covering the whole screen uh, its background color is yg0 and alpha is 0 0.c so it's a little bit see-through and it's gonna be hidden initially this one is also added to the navigation controller as a sub view and its layer position is gonna be 99 so it's gonna be behind this sidebar and we are also gonna add a tab gesture recognizer so when it's tapped it's gonna call this action black screen tap action and which, which is gonna close the sidebar and hide itself so let's grab other functions here these two functions so these are just normal functions uh, I don't know why Xcode requires it to be objective C method because I, I think this because of the selector uh, it is required you are required to put the, this objective C sign here otherwise it's nothing it's just a normal function so this is the menu action when this button button menu is clicked so uh, we wanna unhide the black screen so that it takes up the whole screen and then for the with the duration of point three we wanna animate the sidebar uh, to come into the view so sidebar frame is gonna be set to zero zero and uh, width it width we expand it to 250 and height it's gonna be the initial height so sidebar frame height and when the sidebar is finished showing in the view then this is going to run uh, black screen uh, x is going to be sidebar frame width which means it's going to be let's say it here uh, we are going to set the black screen to start from here to here so that uh, whatever interactions we make on this view does not interfere with the inter interactions on the black screen you can also disable interactions and re-enable uh, interactions on this black screen uh, but I'm gonna do it this way so that's why this width and y is gonna be 0 width is gonna be frame width minus sidebar width and height, it, height is gonna be the full height of the 
screen I have added 100 here just to have some margin and uh, then when the black screen is tabbed we have set the we have set up to call this function so whenever the black screen is tabbed this function is called so what it's gonna do is it's gonna hide itself and then it's gonna set its frame to uh, self dot view dot bounce so that when it will show again its bounds will be full width and uh, then we animate with a duration of 0.3 the sidebar frame and it's again gonna be 0 0 0 and the uh, sidebar frame height the initial initially what it is well. now here uh, we have the sidebar view delegate to respond to the delegate when it's called so we are going to confirm to the sidebar view delegate because whenever uh, uh, an item in the sidebar view is tabbed we want to notify this view controller to perform some action so when you put the sidebar view delegate we need we need to ex uh, implement this function so it's sidebar did select row we can just delete this okay. when a item in the sidebar is selected we want to hide the black screen we want to make the black screen frame to full width and height and then we are going to animate this sidebar to hide so it's, we set its frame to 0 0 0 width is going to be 0 and height is going to be initial height and then we are going to switch the row that is passed here and uh, as we have created an enum uh, this row is going to have this wa these values edit profile messages contact settings history help sign out or none it's not gonna have any uh, be any value besides any of this so so we don't re require a default here because it will never be executed now we want to perform some action when each of these items are clicked so uh, when the edit when it is, the first item is clicked we get edit profile here so we gonna go to the edit profile is screen so let's create that now gonna be coca touch class and it's gonna be edit profile VC create it and uh, let's get edit profile code it's nothing it just add just add a level to so on in the on the screen so we create a level here in the closer we set it text to edit profile we set its color to black system font size is going to be 30 text alignment is going to be center and you want to make sure that you set this translate auto resizing masking to constraints, constraints to false otherwise auto layout is not going to be activated and all these constraints are not going to be used so now that we have created this uh, mm, variable label so let's add it to the subview and then set its left anchor to left anchor, right anchor to right anchor of the view, top anchor to top anchor. But we want to make sure it's off 100 pixels from the top. So we add a constant 100 and its height is going to be constant. So it's going to be 60. So let's head back to view controller. And uh, so when we receive edit profile, it's going to go to the edit profile and uh, we get the navigation controller and we push this view controller to the navigation controller stack. Uh, for these other items, uh, I just print what they represent, but you can perform any action there. I forgot to import UI kit here, so that's why I was getting these errors. So let's build it has successfully built and i think we have covered everything here so let's now go and test that so here i have the, uh, the app running and if you click this menu bar we get all these items and if you click the first item and we get this edit profile level and this is the edit profile screen we created here and we can go back we can click off the on the black screen to hide the sidebar. We can click these items and messages will get printed settings. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.